Alright, welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In the last tutorial we covered the auto features in Photoshop under image. So you have these auto available features. Uh, under layer, you have the ability to go to new adjustment layer and choose these adjustment layers here. And these layers are now, these adjustment layers are basically par what they call parametric. They are not static adjustments. So if I apply any of these, I will be able to adjust them later on as I save out the file and you can access them in a couple different areas you can go down here at the bottom this little black and white uh, little circle here you can click on and here are the adjustments again and then we have some uh, fill colors here you can also find the adjustment palette here which is open now if you don't have that open you can always go to the window menu and choose the adjustments and you can see it's checked here the one that I'm going to go over today is the brightness contrast adjustment is the, the easiest to use and sort of the first one basically I click on it you have essentially two sliders one that it increases or decreases brightness and the one that increases or decreases contrast uh, in the last tutorial I talked about legacy and how that applies clipping to the highlights and the shadows so typically you don't want to use this with a photo uh, typically you're using it again for masking purposes so right now, what I'm going to do before I even try and adjust these, I'm always going to click the auto button here to see what Photoshop gives me. And it does a pretty decent job overall. Uh, I feel like the contrast is a little bit strong, so I could drop that down a little bit. Maybe do something like 65. And the brightness, I could uh, increase or decrease. It was probably pretty close to where it need to be. Probably like 15 is probably good there. And that looks pretty good. Now I can turn on and off the eyeball to see the result of the image. I can double click on the adjustment. And again, it is parametric. It is, uh, it is no longer static. So I can adjust these however I want. In fact, if I want to zero these out, I could type in zero and zero. And now we have no adjustment whatsoever uh, happening here. Funny enough, if you have no uh, value going on here, if you change the blend modes, which we'll get into later on, it'll still affect the, the image. If we choose the uh, best darken mode, multiply here, it'll essentially darken itself. So it's using its own pixels, and essentially darkening it. Uh, if we go to the screen mode, uh, basically it's lightening the image. And then if we want contrast, we choose the overlay. And that overlay mode almost looks exactly the same as it was with the... Um, the uh, adjustment by the auto feature. So let's go to back to normal here and then double click on the icon here which opens up in the properties tab. So you can always click on the little properties tab here if your layer selected and again choose that auto function and then again if I want to I can uh, further refine this injustice. So right now it's 80 and 23. So if I want to take this down with it highlighted I can basically hit the down arrow and go into single increments. If I hold the shift key, I can take it much further. So uh, pretty much you can adjust it however you want. I think 15 is a good value. And then I can tab, press the tab key to go to the contrast. And I might increase this by arrowing a couple of times, but actually, I think it actually is a little bit high. I'm gonna go down to probably like 75. And I think this looks pretty good. And then uh, pretty much now I have the ability to see before and after just simply by turning off the eyeball. So the main takeaway from here is basically adjustments are parametric. You can always adjust them. Uh, these adjustment layers, which are really awesome. They're very powerful. The actual file size doesn't increase that much if I was to save this file out. Funny enough, adjustments don't take that much in terms of the file size, but they do give you a ton of possibilities because you can always go back and adjust them. Until next time, we'll further explore other adjustments in Adobe Photoshop CC. Uh, until next time, cheers.